it's Nally, and I'm so happy to be filming again. I know it's been so long, but I'll explain that in another video. I just wanted to do a really quick review about the Sigma uh, brushes, the essential kit that I got like over two and a half years ago that I have that I have had this. And so yeah, I've tried to record this video many times, but this is what happens every time I try to film. Like the box is all raggedy now. But this is what they great. What are you doing? I'm filming right now. You wanna say hi? Say hi <laughs> Little messy girl. Your hair is so messy, mommy. What's wrong? What's wrong? No. No. Okay, C can mommy do this? Okay, give me a kissy. Mwah. Okay, now go. Okay? Go. Go. No. <laughs> Why? Because I don't like you. Okay, okay, could you sit down and be a little good girl? Alrighty, thank you. <laughs> so, of course, my daughter had to bomb this video, but that's okay because she's so cute and I love her. <laughs> so, my daughter just loves to be in my videos. She, like, if she hears me talking, she knows what I'm doing. So, she comes in and, like, loves to be in front of the camera and wants to make her little appearance. And so, yeah. So, now that she's asleep, I can film and get this out the way because I have really been wanting to do this for a long time now. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. I got the essential kit and if you're if you've ordered your brushes and you're wondering what the box will look like, this is what the box what they will ship the box in. And in that box is what the brushes were placed in. Yep. I can't believe I've had this for so long now. I need it thoroughly. I just kept it for the sake of like making this video. And thank God I've held on to them. But yeah, this is like gonna go away. But, um, oh, sorry. My stuff's everywhere. And this brochure also came in the box and it just tells you about the brushes. Now, the essential kit comes with, um, 12 brushes and it also this card came with it it's like backwards yeah it's still backwards anyway this is the card that comes with it and it just tells you like how to clean your brushes now it is handy and I do recommend holding on to this a little bit long for like a month or so until you get the hang of like how you clean your brushes and your routine like of like when to clean them and you know, like when to deep clean them or when just to like um, clean them with a wipe, something like that. So yeah. Now on to the brushes. Now I know like I've had these for like over two years and a half now and I just really wanted to make a review about it because I don't feel like Sigma brushes get talked about anymore because since then, so many brushes have came out from so many different brands. And, yeah, I just really wanted to talk about these because they are really good brushes. Oh, by the way, I'm, like, holding on to this and I didn't even talk about it. This little free eyeshadow palette, palette that came in with what I ordered, it comes in with three eyeshadows like a purple, a gold shimmery shadow, and just like a plain basic creamy shadow. And it's in here. So yeah, and it's like magnetic too. I really like that. And they are surprisingly pigmented. I don't know why I say, I don't know why I said surprisingly like that. But I was very, very impressed with this little thing right here. I want to make a tutorial on this soon. And hopefully I'll be old, uh, old. Hopefully I'll be ordering. <laughs> hopefully I'll be ordering um, some of their eyeshadows because I really love this. So anyway, 
to get started on the brushes. Um, now, I don't have anything bad to say about these brushes. The only thing is that... Okay, let me show you. The stippling brush, the large powder brush, and the blending brush shed. I don't know why, but these are the only three out of the brushes that shed. And yes, it gets annoying, but yeah. And also, um, the stippling brush, it's like wiggly. The whole, yeah, I don't know why, but probably like from like tapping and stippling my face that this silver thing just started being wiggly. I'm thinking of like, I hope it doesn't fall off, but if it does, um, I'm thinking of like hot glue in it. And I've heard that if you send this back to Sigma, they will send you a free pair, um, a free one like this back. Did that just make sense? A one like this for free. But I don't know, I should try it. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't like going through hassles like that. But yeah, so nothing bad. They work amazingly great. Very good price. I got mine for like around 90 bucks, including, including shipping. And yeah, they're just really, 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 really great brushes, affordable, and yeah, and they do last a very long time. Um, but like I said, these three here, the powder, the stippling, and the blending brush shed. But other than that, everything is great. So let me start with the biggest brush, which is the large shot. Oh, and by the way, all of the all of the hair bristles on here they're all soft so and they feel really good on the face it's like a i don't know it just feels really good i could like do this all day <laughs> so yeah anyway this large uh powder brush i mean is it necessary for me to tell you what number it is i don't know i'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway and if i don't oh well but this is the 530 large powder brush and I practically, like honestly, I'm just going to tell you what I use these brushes for. So yeah. Um, so what I use this, personally use this brush for is just to wipe out any fallouts that I have. Like when I'm applying eyeshadow and there are fallouts, I just wipe out, wipe it out and it's so easy to wipe out. Like when you wipe out the fallouts it doesn't leave any like smears on your face it just takes it out like if you like if nothing ever fell down you know so yeah I just use this for fallout I don't use it for like setting my face I just use this to um, wipe away fallouts um, the stippling brush or the stippling brush I don't know which one is it but this is such a great brush for an airbrush flawless look and yeah the whole thing is that I don't know over time it starts to like wiggle can you hear it but yeah um this is a great brush for foundation and I've heard like I've only used this for foundation and um People, I've seen some people use this for a blush brush. I think it does go, it is supposed to be for a blush. But I don't use it for blush. I use it for foundation. And it does take time. If you have like time to do your makeup and you want that beautiful flawless face, then yeah, use this brush. But um, yeah. So I've never used this for a blush, just foundation. And it works really great. I love it. Now this foundation brush was one of my first foundation brushes that I've ever like owned. <laughs> and I used it, I used to use it a lot in the beginning until I learned how to use a stippling brush. But it is great. Like I, the thing is you're supposed to use this um, like kind of like going downwards, not kind of going downwards, going downwards. But it leaves streak marks and I didn't like that. But it is very good 
for heavy under eye concealing or anywhere like, oh, and it's very good for contouring. So it's very good for concealing and contouring. That's what I really, really use this for now. And it works just as great. I love it. Now on to the blush brush. I call it the blush brush, but it's really a contour. It's, it says large angled contour um, brush, but I just only use it for, um, I mean, yeah, it's great for contouring, but I feel like it's just so fluffy for it to be a contour. I don't know, it's just my preference. I just use it for a blush brush, and yeah, that's about it. Ooh, I just bit my tongue. Now on to the blending full brush. Um, honestly, I just use this to set my under eye concealer and highlighting my T-zone and um, my cheekbones and setting my under eye setting my under eye concealer. That's about what I use it for. I don't use it for blending. It is great for blending, but I don't know, I've just found it more convenient to use when I'm setting my under eye and um, highlighting. Uh, what next? So this is next, and this is the concealer brush. And I love it. It's perfect for like concealing small blemishes that you have on your face and concealing your under eye. It's like, it's perfect to go like right in the inner corner a little bit. So yeah, I really love this. Now on to this eye shading brush. Um, you could, it says to use it on your eyelids for eyeshadows, but honestly, I just use this for highlighting my, uh, my brow bone. And yeah, I feel like it highlights, it does a better job at highlighting my brow bone. I guess because it's kind of like dense and packed. I don't know. I just really, really, really like this for highlighting my brow bone. Now this medium angled shading brush, um, I use this. I don't use this quite a lot, but when I do use it, I use it to blend um, when, I, when I use a very dark shadow on my crease. And I just use it to blend. It's like the perfect shade to like blend your shadow on the crease for that natural smoky look. So yeah. Now this large shading brush, um, I'm sorry if I'm not getting a good, I'm not giving y'all a good view of these brushes. But anyway, um, this large shading brush, don't be intimidated about it being like large. Because I think it's very good for applying um, eyeshadow into your lids. Like instead of using instead of using this eyeshadow brush to apply eyeshadow on my lids, I use this. It's just better and like like how do I say it? I just I don't know. I really like this for applying eyeshadow on my lids. It's pigmented. It gives really good application for shimmery or matte or creamy shadows. Like, I love it. This is perfect. So, yeah. I don't know. Just my preference. Now, this small anger, angled brush, I mean, you could use it to, to eyeline, uh, to, you know, to eyeline, to like, how do I say it? I can't even talk right now. But it's very good if you want to like smudge under your eye or do an eyeliner um, look or whatever. But I honestly just use this to do my eyebrows. I just use this to draw my eyebrows because I feel like it's just so precise and it's synthetic and thin that it gives a great look when it comes to doing your eyebrows. So yeah, I really like this for my eyebrows. Um... This here is the eyeliner brush, and it's very good to, like, it gives you great control to drawing your eyeliner. Like, 
It's great for doing a thin liner, a thick liner, a bold liner, a winged out liner. Like this is perfect. Like especially like with going in your um your inner to the corner. I don't know how to say it. But yeah, when like it's perfect for going in and out and creating a smooth line. I really, really, really love this. And my favorite, this is the pencil brush. And I use this mainly to highlight my tear ducts and to smudge under my eye. Like I wish I had another um another brush just like this too. Like one for like highlighting my inner um my tear duct and smudging and another one for smudging my bottom lids because this here is perfect for that. Um yeah. I really like it. Now that I've now that I've gone through all of these brushes, honestly, like I'm so happy with them. I've had them for over two years now, and they're very good quality for an amazing price. Um, like I said, I have nothing bad to say, but a few of them do shed. And like I said, the large one, the large brush, the blending brush and the stippling brush are the only ones that have shed with me. And the stippling brush wiggles a little bit, but other than that, I loved everything. Everything is great. And yeah, I'm sorry if this video was a little bit all over the place. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit all over the place, but I really hope you found this video helpful and ask me. Any questions?